In this video, we'll be solving for E cell from delta G values. And uh, you'll see that these reactions do not appear in the standard reduction potential table. But that's not a problem for calculating E cell as long as we know what delta G is. Um, you'll see that uh, we'll, we'll also have to figure out the moles of electron transfer. That's one of the keys to doing this as well. So um, it's really just rearranging this equation. Since we have a relationship between free energy and uh, the cell voltage, then we have a way where we can just rearrange this and solve for E cell. So if I just uh, move the uh, divide both sides by NF, then I get E cell is equal to delta G over negative NF. Um, so one of the keys to doing this is to, we need to figure out the number of moles transferred since F is a constant. Um, and then we'll have to figure out delta G. This we could just get from a table of um, GFs, free energies of formation. Um, this we need to figure out Um, another thing to remember is uh, Faraday is in Coulombs, um, which is actually a joule per volt. So we're going to have to put our free energy in joules because that's going to end up being kilojoules. So let's uh, let's try this problem. Um, so we need to figure out, um, so if we're going to try to calculate E cell, let's rewrite what I already have up there. Um, first we'll get the uh, delta G's, so delta G for the reaction equals 6 times negative 237 plus 6 times negative 394 minus a negative 911. So from this I get negative 2875 kilojoules um, per mole of reaction but I'll, I'll just leave it in kilojoules for uh, to keep it simple um, now we need to figure out n so this is a little bit of a little bit of work here um, I'm gonna keep the ones which two do we need to compare because they all have oxygen so it looks a little strange um, but the one that has carbon, I'm going to compare that to this one that has carbon. And uh, I'm going to check to see what happens to this carbon. Um, oxygen here is a minus 2 each, and there's two of those, so that's a minus 4. So this carbon right here, each carbon, and notice there's 6 moles of it, each carbon has a plus 4, actually. Okay, looking over at this glucose, and again, I know to compare these two, because I'm interested in what happened to the carbon. Because I know oxygen on all of these, except for this one, is going to be a minus 2. So what I'm interested in is uh, what happened to the carbon. Um, and I know hydrogen is a plus 1 on both sides, so nothing happened to the hydrogen. Um, this oxygen right here is a minus 2, and there's 6 of those, so that's minus 12. Um, hydrogen is always a plus 1, and there's 12 of those, so that was plus 12 as well. So this carbon on glucose is actually a zero, the oxida oxidation state. So it goes from, for, uh, for this carbon, it goes from zero to a plus four on this side. So we say that the carbon here, it lost um, the carbon, lost four electrons. Um, now looking at this oxygen, It's a zero here, um, and it's a minus two here, but we already compared the glucose and the carbon dioxide. We're going to compare this oxygen with the oxygen on water, and this one is a minus two. So it goes from a zero to a minus two. So we say the oxygen from O2 uh, gained two electrons. So the number that they have in common is four. So the total number of electrons transferred is 4, but I want to point something out. So this goes from a 0 to a 4, to a plus 4, but each carbon does that, not, not just the whole, not the whole glucose carbon, not all 6. 
each carbon out of those six does that. So it's actually six times, or it's actually four times six because there's six CO2s. So that means there's 24 moles of electrons transferred here. Um, and so let's go ahead and plug in these values. Um, the delta G, now one thing to keep in uh, mind is delta G is going to be um, a Faraday, actually. The, the units for Faraday is Coulomb over moles of electron. Now, moles of electron is fine because of that unit. Um, however, a Coulomb is a joule per volt. And our delta G is in kilojoules, so we're going to have to change uh, delta G. So I'm going to write negative 2875 times 10 to the third joules over uh, 24, 24 moles of electrons times 96,485 coulombs per mole. So the mole of electron cancels. Um, and then in my answer, I need to write it down here, ran out of space. Um, I should get 1.24 joules per coulomb. So my units are joules per coulomb, which is 1.24 volts. So that's my final answer. Um, now I have one uh, very similar for you guys to try. Um, so see if you could use this example to try the next one. So just to... Uh, just to uh, summarize the steps here is we need to figure out this from a table um, and then moles of electron we need to figure out by assigning oxidation states and the and take take into account the uh, coefficient as well um, to figure out the total number of um, moles of electrons transferred okay so try this one I, I put delta G values here uh, remember this is already in its standard state so this one is zero um, so I have your delta GF values there, um, and you should see that this problem is uh, pretty similar. Okay, that's the end of our tutorial.